hi guys i wanted to make a vlog today about my hair <laughs> so basically i normally wear hair extensions so i wanted to talk about my hair loss and why i've been wearing hair extensions so right now i have nothing in that's why i look disgusting i just woke up and i wanted to show my natural hair i took my hair extensions out today and i had really bad hair loss from stress i think it was from stress you know going through a divorce and everything and everybody's body handles stress differently and one of mine unfortunately I think was the hair loss um so it was so thin uh, this is actually good I have nothing in and my hair like a little over a year ago was about probably less than half of what's on my head right now I was embarrassed to go outside I was embarrassed to make videos I wore like hair pieces like little hair extensions that would go over um, just because of the, the hair loss, it was really, really bad. Um, so then I've been wearing like tape in hair extensions. I've been doing them myself cause they're really expensive, um, to have someone do it for you. So I've been doing that. I'm trying to pick the glue out of my hair that's right now. So this, we're going to do before and after. So this is before my hair extensions. This probably all needs to be chopped off. I think a lot of it's dead, but I want, I've been it's been such a struggle to grow it would not grow new hair wouldn't grow in so I just I don't I can't cut it yet until I have more I can't trim it but it's glumpy because I haven't washed it in days I haven't washed it guys look at how greasy it is I haven't washed it just because you're not supposed to wash the hair extensions every day so this is like I don't know how many days this is it's a couple days and uh, so my hair's really greasy and I have some of the tape stuck in so like as you could see all this was like bald i had you could see it still a little bit i had like no hair if you if i made a video like a little over a year ago and you seen like all this was bald it was it was really bad so this is all you could see the little hairs new hair that's been growing in so i'm really happy about that this is good like, I hope I get to the point where I don't have to wear the extensions. I really like thick, beautiful hair. But as you can see, like, all this in here was bald. That's what happened to me from stress. So, this is all new growing. And this was all bald. So, I'm excited that I'm finally getting hair again. But we're going to do before and after. Because I'm going to make it pretty. I'm going to wash it. We're going to touch up my gray roots. Yeah, I do have gray. You're lying if you don't in your 30s. But I actually got my first gray hair when I was 19 on my honeymoon. Um, so it, Dave didn't believe me. I'm like, I have a gray hair. He's like, you don't have gray hair. You're 19. I'm like, I do. And so we picked it out of my head and dissected it. And sure enough, it was gray. It was white. It was like super white. Um, so yeah, that's when I had my first one. I didn't have many but I had one like on the top of my head that kept growing the friggin white hair so <laughs> it was really bad but anyway yeah I wanted to just share that with you guys what you know what stress does can do to somebody and that what that was one of the side effects that it had for me and I'm happy I hope it keeps up I hope it continues to grow um so I wanted to show you my before and my after and no, that's not why I wear the wigs. I wear the wigs for fun because I just like them. So, and I probably will continue every now and then. Like the other day, I just wanted to be pink and I just wanted to, I might dye my hair pink. What do you think? Should I do it like rose gold? I was thinking about doing my hair and my extensions, like some rose gold colors would be really, like my shirt. I thought that would be cute. Some pink, maybe just at the ends. We'll see what happens, what kind of mood I'm in. So anyway, this is before. This, see, this doesn't look so bad. This this is why I don't really wear my hair in a ponytail. I don't know if I shave my arms to put <laughs> in a ponytail for you. But normally, that's why I don't. Because you could see the extensions. But, like, that's not a lot of hair. Oh, it looks dead. It looks like a mop. <laughs> I got a deep, deep condition in this or something. I, I don't want to cut it. It took too long to grow. <laughs> Smelling it. All right. So anyway, besides that, I um I want to share with you. Oh my gosh! Look, it all just fell out just from touching it. Let's stop playing with it. I'm gonna be bald again just by showing you. I probably just lost all my hair growth. Oh my gosh, this isn't good. I have all this hair on me. All right. 
I'm getting worried. This all just happened just now. Just from sitting here playing with it. Hmm, now I'm sad. I was excited. I think I just lost my progress by playing with it. That's how fragile it is. I'm so worried about it. What am I going to do, guys? <laughs> Give me some tips. So one thing. Oh, my gosh. I'm not even. Oh, I'm going to cry. <sighs> anyway, I was going to say I just started this alkaline diet. Have any of you ever tried that? So I would, I'm not like a vegan person. I've always been like against it and thought those people were crazy. But I just was eating really bad for a few weeks. I was eating really bad. I think I was just in a funk and was eating really bad. And I, I didn't feel good at all. And I said, and I came upon like the alkaline diet and I wanted to try it because I heard it cures everything you could possibly think of. Who knows if that's true, but I figured what the heck I'm going to try it because I've been eating bad and I feel like I need to cleanse my body. So I've been doing it for about a week and I have to say I already feel better. Like I'm always felt constantly bloated. Oh my gosh. I always felt constantly bloated. And within a day of just being on it, I felt so much thinner. I felt like all the bloatness just came out of me, which was really nice. It's improved my skin, as you can see. I'm not wearing any makeup, and I usually wear very little makeup, but I do wear foundation because I have Roatia, which is, like, really red and plain skin all the time, and it's embarrassing. So I wear cover-up, you know, for that. But right now I have none on, and I noticed after just a couple days that my Roatia had gone down significantly. It's still there a little bit. You can still see it, but it's nothing compared to what it was, and I really think it's this diet that I've been on. Sorry, my hair keeps falling out. <laughs> <laughs> all right so I think it's this diet that I've been on I think it's been helping me maybe it'll help with the friggin' hair I don't know but um anyway it's helped with my skin a lot this is no makeup not even washed this is good for me because normally it's very red like my cheeks usually are so red and my chin and around my nose so I noticed like a couple days on this that my skin looked better and that I wasn't bloated anymore um, and I felt different. I felt a little bit better. I don't know why, but I've been eating just fruits, vegetables, grains, and I did have salmon. I don't think you're supposed to have that. I cut out meat besides the cheat day with salmon. I cut out all meat and dairy and I feel a lot better. So I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to try to keep it up. I think I'll cheat every now and then. But I think I'm going to, like, stick to it, like, 90% of the time. So, I'm doing good. I'm excited about it. Anyway, let's get my hair extensions in and see the difference. We'll see if it looks any better, if I have any hair left by the time. I can make a wig right now if anybody needs a wig. Dog cat wig hair. <laughs> I'm just going to glue it back in my own hair. <laughs> No, but seriously, I am. It's, it's, it is. It's growing back in. All that used to be bald. So we got to touch it up. There's some gray. I'm going to go do that now. And then we'll show you before and, and after. But like, you know what's fun when it's greasy like this? You could like do weird things and it stays. What could we do with my hair? <laughs> like if you put it up. I'm scared to move my arms because <laughs> I don't know if I shaved. Guys, I'm gross. I'm gross. This is what I look like when I wake up. I'm gross. I'm so gross. All right. Before you unsubscribe, let's go wash my hair and fix it up. Ta-da! I'm finally clean. I'm sorry that I made you witness me dirty, greasy, and unbathed this morning. That was pretty gross, but whatever it is what it is and I was just trying to like show you about my hair loss and I'm excited because even though I have the extensions in now and it's clean I don't have as many I didn't put any in the front so this is all like my real hair in the front so it feels really really good it feels nice I can like run my fingers through it and put, I can put my hair up now and stuff so I'm excited about that for the summer um besides that I wanted to talk to you guys about I'm really upset you know I'm obsessed with TikTok. I get all my news there. So I seen this morning about Britney. Like I heard her like pleading to the judge about end ending like, you know, her father having all authority over her and stuff. And it was really, really sad. You didn't realize how bad it was. 
that like she can't even go for a car ride with her boyfriend and have control over her own money and stuff like that so I feel really really bad I act I'm like really hoping that we find out this week she's free or something because that's like really sad for someone to have to live their life like that I love Britney we are connected you're gonna laugh at me been a big Britney fan forever we're almost the same age we have almost the same birthday and we have the same initials so all of our initials middle last first yep we're connected <laughs> anyway Paul Willis he's been a big supporter of my dog has shoe shop he sent me all the way from England I just got into it I have it all over the table here I should have unboxed it in front of you guys but I spared the time and I just, he got me these awesome shoes. He knows my shoe size. I thought somebody was busting out. He got me those. He got me these, which kind of match my pants today. They're so cute. Thank you, Paul. And Gloria, his wife. You know, he must be the best husband ever because he sends me chocolates and jammies. Any guy knows that to a girl's heart is chocolates and jammies. So he must be a really good husband. And he thinks I'm a drunk. It says her royal Highness. I noticed all the jammies have a wine theme. <laughs> These are so cute. I like the purple and the koala bear. More wine bottles. Well, I don't drink wine. <laughs> I drink like um, the virgin wine, the non-alcoholic kind. <laughs> but they're so cute. I love the jammies. They're awesome. I appreciate you thinking of me and sending them. That was so nice of you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, stuff's going around. It's a beautiful day. So we're going like to do some fun stuff. I think tubing or we're debating or stand up paddle boarding. We're gonna go do something really fun. Can't waste this day. Look, I wanna show you my doll. Oh, I'm working really hard at trying to get a blue. Can you see back there? There's a glare. Working really, really hard. It's almost there. It's almost done. Cause I wanna have like a big 4th of July party and have my pool cleaned out for that. So cross if not it's gonna be a hot tub party speaking of hot tub this foam machine if you watched amy's birthday vlog it was the best 180 dollars that i've ever spent this thing actually works it lives up to the box when you see the box and the foam it makes we had it in the hot tub and the hot tub was exploding with bubbles there was mounds of it all around the hot tub it lived up to the picture i'm like there's no way it makes this much foam it does there was so much foam we didn't know what to do with it like you could like bury people in the foam <laughs> there was so much foam so i'm thinking we could put that in the pool for the fourth of july and have like a big foam glow in the dark party that's my goal so we're gonna go for that <laughs> but yeah go out and get one of these this is fun for adults and kids alike everybody likes this thing i just wanted to go in the hot tub the other night and just cover myself with the foam <laughs> so we gotta go get more foam my camera like cut off there or something but anyway thank you guys so much for supporting me thank you for the love and everything and if you haven't already please like and please subscribe and have a wonderful rest of your day